all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Get some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, for those that are new, this is called the 8 Minutes with Nick. I hope you enjoy. Now, for those that like to drink like Lou, because, baby, when I want to drink, I'm going to take it. <laughs> take a shot, see a shot, see a shot, take one, whatever. Toast up, lady. Now, before we get into this video, I want to put this out there and I want to make this very clear with no music, no nothing. I do not condone domestic violence. I am not a fan of domestic violence. I actually have a line and it's imaginary that if one was to cross it, no matter who you are, you might catch something hot coming your way. All right. Now, with that being said, some people have not understood my um, my feedback in this. And, and I would love to reiterate because that is what I do. Um, but when it comes to the domestic violence and y'all saying that, like, I, I'm, I'm going to give you the, the comment recently that was just like, it just behooved me, you know. So y'all basically over here feel like, well, y'all basically over here feel Lou had the right to beat her ass. Would y'all have this energy of Lou was a man? If Lou was a man, Lou not being a man, uh, if Tay was a man, Tay not being a man, if somebody in my relationship was to hit me, and especially me not being the aggressor, I'm going to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? Like, I'm just I'm just putting that out there but I want y'all to know this it is not about the domestic violence understand that both because y'all don't hear me both of them were fighting each other okay for those that don't believe that why Tay ain't spoke about it yet why she ain't speak about snatching that girl iPad why she ain't speak about pulling her fucking wig out? I'll wait. I mean, I, just, I need a drink anyway. I like to drink myself. That's enough time. Why she ain't said nothing about it? She spoke about the things that bothered her the most. But since she has so much proof that she's getting beat up, there's no need for her to speak on that, right? I'm going to tell y'all right now, if you were held in captivity, all right, and captivity to me is not being able to do the shit that you want to do, all right? So if you got to scrape up change to go get you some yak, if you got to um put your phone in cat litter, that is disgusting, okay? But I digress. If you have to do that, and that person just sitting there chilling, gambling, drinking, smoking, doing whatever it is they want to do, taking my phone, and we almost or is the same damn age. That crock pot was long overdue, baby. And y'all think I'm being funny when I say this, but y'all not understanding the mental trauma that she put her through, right? So we're just talking about the physical because it looks so bad. When she's a grown woman and she can fight her ass back. Let's be very clear. This ain't a man. We're not talking about a man. This ain't even a scenario. If it was a man, he would have caught a bullet. But with that being said, right? This, These are two grown women. Two healthy grown women who can defend themselves. You're not about to just pull my hair and I'm just like, oh, okay, don't hurt me. That's cap. She had intentions on filming these things because she knew one day she was going to need it. 
She knew she was going to need it. Now, I did feel as though that she was just on edge and wanted to film till she didn't take accountability for shit. A person that's guilty, they deflect. That's what she was doing. So with that being said, I don't think domestic violence is funny at all. I hate bullies. And somebody just whooping on somebody's ass and that's not what they want is fucked up. However, the person who is holding a person's phone, not giving a person nothing but crumbs. Can you imagine making four? Let me, I want to talk about something else. Somebody said to me that YouTubers, it's, it's a, uh, in a report or something that YouTubers that have over 4 million subscribers make 60 to 70,000 a year. Baby. I make that. <laughs> I make more than that, but I'm at that. I'm on that a hundred something thousand. No, no, no. When you have over 4 million subscribers, you're making almost up to $4 million. Yeah. These people really making money. And I'm not talking about chump change. What she was giving her was chump change in that cash out. Also, another way to deflect is to say, Oh, I don't know how to show y'all that. When you got the bank statement, sis, y'all don't hit me. And I'm tired of it. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <sighs> to the people that's new, I appreciate y'all subscribing. Because some of y'all really get me. I fuck with that. I'm an acquired taste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, what I'm here to say is domestic, domestic violence ain't no joke. And the only people, um, I can't say that people cannot just get beat up or whatever. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not speaking about everyone's situation. I'm speaking about this one. If you are anti antagonizing a person and holding them in captivity, as in, can I please get some something to eat, boss? Can I please have a dollar for a burger? That shit ain't cool, man. Can I can I have my phone back, please, master? <laughs> Y'all, that is mental abuse. Which I feel sometimes is worse than the physical. Either way, I digress. That's my opinion. But I just want y'all to know for some that think y'all gonna play with me, I don't play about domestic violence. That shit ain't no joke to me. I feel like if somebody hitting you, hit them back. Simple and plain. Just like I was saying that about Tay at first. Shit, Tay, if this woman hitting on you like that, damn, she threw a crock pot at you. What her ass? Oh, damn, Lou. She hiding your phone and shit. Taking your phone. That's crazy. I got to scrape up change. I can't. Nah, too much control. Way too much control. It's not cool. And if you aggress a person or antagonize a person, well, you get what you put out, friend. What you what you put out into the universe is what you get back. And that's what she's getting. She's getting that back. Just thought y'all should know. I ain't on nobody's side. I hope they both get this shit together. But at some point, Tay gonna have to stand on them too. Or she just gonna act like it, it never happened. It is what it is. Either way, she gotta sleep on that pillow at night by herself. And the pillow is never comfortable until you hold your own and really and really tell your truth. But I'm done with this video, man. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. This was 8 Minutes with Neek. All right, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all follow me on uh Instagram at Royalties World. You dig? I got a couple channel called Royalties and Candyland. All my links is on my YouTube channel. You dig? Hell yeah.